but um, so let's let's go to uh, the news kind of. So um, Hannah, you just finished competing in the team uh, qualified qual- uh, quarterfinals. So how did your team go do and, and what did you think about the workouts? So, I mean, we did great. We got 12th. Um, I mean, we went in like technically ranked like 31st. So, hey, I'll take that. Um, I know that teams like, of course, use individual um, athlete scores to kind of like inflate their team. But I mean, I'll take definitely take that confidence boost going in the semis. And I actually thought they're like pretty good workouts. Um, I was like, you, um, it was really hard to um, really, there were, there, there weren't many like individual like aspects of things. Like it was team related. Um, you couldn't like hide somebody. Um, you could like in some movements, but other movements, like take the toe to bar dumbbell snatch workout, all that was synchro. Um, even on the front squat, uh, the burpee front squat ring muscle up one. Um, even if, if you had someone that was weak on the rings, like you can't overtax the person that's good at ring muscle ups because they'll also blow up. So um, I really did like that there was strategy. There was actually team workouts. Um, I was pretty wrecked by the deadlift one, not going to lie. Um, that was basically trying to do RDLs as fast as possible um, and hold on <laughs> to a bar for shoulder overhead. Uh, so that was kind of like wonky. And there's probably a lot of questionable reps from like everybody all teams like inc- like including mine like watching the video i'm like i tried to extend man like i tried to lock out every one of my joints but when you know like one rep can be so many places in a workout like that like you just have to move fast so um that might be like my only complaint but uh all in all i actually thought it was pretty decent okay all right awesome that's cool and uh what which one was probably your favorite you think for oh. your for your team for my team um okay i'll put two i'll put uh t- i'll give two workouts one is workout three that was like that was our i mean we tied in three and four but workout three it was awesome execution like i think all of us were just like firing on all cylinders um and then we we actually had to redo it and we tied our time um we had to redo it because of a, a video error um which was very unfortunate but like ended up so like the do like to hit like a workout like that like out of the park twice um without like blowing up on handstand push-ups like that was we couldn't ask for anything better um i think we girls like the barbell workout uh the guys definitely uh i mean 205 and 125 for girls is like nothing compared to the 185 and 315 for guys so we enjoyed that workout. <laughs> I think the guys can say otherwise. Uh, that's probably uh, not their favorite workout, but <laughs> who knows? Who knows? That's awesome. So, um, so are you excited to be going to Knoxville, or were you wishing the sem- uh, semifinals were someplace oh, else? else? <sighs> Man, I don't know. Like we've been in Knoxville. Like you know, I did. I did Mac both years, and then before semifinals was in Orlando, which there's more stuff to do in Orlando, which is nice. Like, you know, um, we use sun, I use Sunday to go to Disney world. Sorry for all my individual athlete friends that uh, were competing <laughs> Sunday. I went to Disney world. That's, uh, like, you know, the old super bowl saying, and you know, like this year it's, uh, teams are only competing Friday and Saturday. So, um, I don't think anything's going on in Knoxville, unfortunately. So, I mean, so I'll probably end up going to semifinal Sunday and cheering on every, everyone else competing, um but i don't I, I like it like it's like you know that's where like i made my first crossfit games so there's like it's very sentimental to me nice nice so um speaking about teams i know i know you guys were pretty adamant on the teams that got disqualified for certain reasons so uh Aaliyah, you want to talk to talk about um you what you want to talk about for the teams being disqualified I mean, yeah, I know there's been a lot of talk about it and a lot of opinions on it. Um, I guess the thing that frustrates me is that, well, okay, so for people who aren't aware, there were a couple teams that got disqualified from semifinals because 
the only eligibility requirement for teams this season is that you perform all three open workouts at the affiliate that you are affiliating your team through. As long as all team members do all three open workouts at the affiliate, your team is eligible for the season. Um, there were a couple teams that got disqualified because it turns out they didn't, they had a member that didn't do every workout at the affiliate. Um, I know like with the Grit House example, the guy had done the workout at the affiliate, but then he redid the workout, I think at his fire station or something and yeah. got a better score. So he submitted that one. And like, so they, uh, their team is no longer eligible because he submitted a score that he didn't perform at the affiliate in the open. And I understand when people are like, well, he did the first workout. He did it the first time at the affiliate. He just redid it outside of the affiliate. But the the thing is, it, it doesn't matter because the score that he submitted was not performed in the affiliate. And the only score that matters is the one that you submit. Um, so it's like, we just, if you want to be a professional athlete, you have to know the rules of your sport. And it's on you as an athlete and on you as a team, like the other three teammates, the fact that they didn't say anything like, Hey, you can't do this. You need to submit your score from the affiliate. Like that's what frustrates me because it, it could be very true that he had no ill intent with redoing that workout and submitting the score from the fire station, whatever. And like, okay, if he had submitted his original score, they still would have qualified for quarterfinals. However, that is a specific instance and the rule has to be able to be applied across the board. So what happens when that happens to a team that's on the cut line? And now you have, well, if they submitted their original score in the affiliate, they wouldn't qualify. But then if they submitted the new score, they would qualify. And now you have to have a different rule and it, it can't be that way. It has to be the same rule across the board in order for this to be uh, to be a professional sport and to be taken seriously. So like as as shitty as it is, because they are a very fit team that would probably have made it to the games this year and done well at the games as they have in previous years, um, it it sucks, but it's it's part of keeping the sport professional and moving the sport forward. So that's my thoughts. Awesome. Kelly, what you got? Yeah, I, I actually think that was really well said. I think it's like a devastating mistake. And I really feel for them that like uh, Hannah said, like, they're my friends. I know them. And I know they're like, you know, they're people who like wouldn't do anything with like ill intent or anything like that. And, and you know, and they would be a team that would probably make the games and probably do well there. So it's just like one of those devastating things that was a mistake. But, you know, I agree that like, you know, if we're going to try and push, you know, this sport into the professional realm, it has to be like rules have to be finite, you know, like you step on the line on a basketball court, it's not like, oh, he was close to the line, you know, like you stepped on the line, you know, it wasn't like, oh, he didn't mean to step on the line, like you stepped on the line. <laughs> it's like just, it's like one of those things that you like, you have to know the rules and the rules have to be clear cut and applied across the board without exception. And um, yeah, it, it, it sucks because that's just one of those mistakes where, you know, it hurts it and it's like more devastating because it doesn't just hurt the person that makes the mistake. It hurts like a whole team. Um, so I feel for them, but I also think it's fair to hold the standard and be consistent in the way the rules are applied. Yeah, definitely. So I, I know Hannah, these are your friends too. So uh, what, what are you, what are your thoughts? I mean, no, I, I echo the same sentiments. Like it's the only rule for team. I mean, I, like I travel over an hour to go to qual of like to qualify with the team that I'm on. Um, and to think like, I know friends that, you know, like, like move to like that move States to go team. Yeah. So um, like, it is unfortunate. Like, I mean, he, he, I know it was harmless. He did it like he did as firehouse. Um, it wasn't even the score that contributed to the team. Like someone else filled his place because um, it wasn't fast enough. But 
like, again, like, it's the only rule. I mean, you don't have to live within a hundred mile radius or do any of these other <laughs> things anymore that probably so people like skirt the line, just, but hit that. Um, but I mean, a lot of people are like uprooting their lives to do this. Um, or just like, you know, making big commitments of traveling multiple hours on end to be on a team. Um, either, I mean, there's probably teams out there that, you know, are just hiding it right now. Like, I'm not going to say like, there are definitely teams that are flying under the radar that just no one knows probably. Um, but like, at least like if you're going to do that, like try to be like a little bit more like secretive, I guess, but, or don't do that please. Like, again, that's the thing that sucks is like, you know, he, he like posted that video because he was like, thinking about like, oh, I didn't do an an affiliate with a judge, so I have to submit a video. And he right. just, like, you know, you don't have to submit a video for the open. You know? Right. Like, no, he was like really like trying to like follow the rules yeah. that way, but, but forgot like the team eligibility rule. Right. Um, which is, it's just like very unfortunate. But again, like a, a rule, it, a rule is a rule. Um, and like if CrossFit finds out, like, yeah, like, I do think the interesting thing about that, like, I think the interesting nuance to that conversation is that, you know, that because you don't have to submit a video for every open score, they're not checking all of the other teams. So all of the other teams that didn't have to submit a video or prove that they did their workouts at the affiliate could very well not have done workouts at the affiliate. So that I think is a questionable part of the way that rule is applied is that like only if you choose to submit a video, can they enforce that rule? That doesn't actually seem like a very fair rule. So on that aspect of it, I think that CrossFit has still some growing to do. Like they still need to like either teams have to be required to submit videos or submit proof that they've done it at the affiliate, you know, or they're going to get situations like this where there it's like, a big controversy because there's teams that didn't adhere to the rule, but didn't get caught because they're not checking on everyone. Right. No, I a hundred percent like it's and, like, oh, yeah, sorry. You, you can go. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say that's been an issue with every version of team eligibility that they've had. Like even when it was, you have to train at the affiliate, you know, 70% of the week or whatever it is and show your Wattify logins and videos and pictures at the gym and blah, 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 all that stuff. There was still teams that weren't following that, but they didn't have to prove it because they didn't get called out on it. The right. only teams that they were asking for proof from were the teams where people emailed CrossFit and right. said, hey, this team isn't eligible. And then they would ask for proof. So it's like, is it a rule if you're not enforcing it across the board or if you're only enforcing it when people bring up questions about it, I don't know. Right. That gets sticky, you know? Yeah. I think yeah. That that's, it's definitely like a, I, I think that may, puts CrossFit in a, in a, like, it opens them up for criticism. You know, yeah. if you but can't, the, if the, you can't enforce the rule, like. The way I understand it, for this year was that he only he had to submit a video for that open workout because he didn't perform it in an affiliate you either perform it in an affiliate and you don't submit a video or you perform it on a video and because he wasn't in the affiliate which is the whole issue in the first place he had to submit a video and that's i think what raised the red flag about it was that he it, it was recorded on like when he submitted the score, it says, did you perform this in an affiliate? And he said, no. Right. Yeah. And he, and he could have said, yes, he did. And he had, could have had one of the judges, like whatever, the judge like watch the video and say, okay, you're good. And like sign off on it. But like, obviously I don't think CrossFit has, CrossFit has the bandwidth to manage every, like to find out every single team that is at the affiliate and training at the affiliate, because like, they already cut their staff, you know, beginning of like, begin, like middle of last year, I think roughly. Yeah. And so like, you're not going to get like, obviously you're going to get people that like kind of like try to cheat the system. And, like it happens, it happens everywhere. So, and so. I'm sure there were teams this year with athletes who said they performed a workout at an affiliate oh, yeah. that may have. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and just is, and, and put a time. It and, but yeah, it put, is, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, pretty much put a time down and didn't even do the workout. I mean, that's a possibility right. too. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, like the think it's like, well, is it like to say like, hey, like you it's like you have to have video proof, um, and then you know, like how like Waterpalooza will only ask for like now two videos two and yeah like, yeah like it, crossfit can do that there's not as many teams um and literally if you can just like line it up and be like oh like they don't even have to look at the workout they can just be like oh all four people it's the same background <laughs> and then just like yeah. and just go and move on <laughs> yeah. um and they do can that. Look- they can literally just go to the gym and do a selfie and post it on Instagram. Like all four of them, they're like, "Hey, check us out. We're we're ready to train." And then just like gets like just be out and do something else. Yeah, I I like I don't know. There definitely needs to be something though because like they're definitely they're. I mean, I don't I don't want to like blame any teams, but like I, if like it happened to those teams, like if they can't be. It's like I don't think they're the only ones. No. Um, they just they're like, sure not the only ones. Yeah. It is a hard thing. Like, I don't know exactly how they would solve that problem. That's, you know, unless you require some sort of proof from every team submission, you know, like you have to take a photo or something and submit a photo with your, you know, like at the affiliate. I mean, that could still be cheated, but like, I don't know. You know, like, I don't know what they do. And then are you going to do that? Are you going to go through every team at the open level? Like that's, that's nuts. That's silly. <laughs> yeah. <It's> silly. It feels very similar to the situation with um, the, I can't remember what workout it was from the open, but the winners, the female didn't have a video to submit. Oh, the high rocks, the high rocks, uh, female, whatever. Yes. Yeah. And, but she got to, no. she got to keep her score. But she didn't get the prize money. But then right. on the men's okay. side, was it? Um, it was Tudor Magna. Like yeah, that Tudor like, submitted his video because he was like, you know, trying to follow the rules, videoing his open workouts. And because of that, he got penalized. His score dropped to like 7,000. And it's like he, he would have been better off just saying, hey, I don't have a video. He would have kept his first place. He wouldn't gotten the money, but he would have kept his first place. And like... Yeah. Yeah, he got penalized because he was doing the right thing, and then she didn't have a video. And you know, in a workout with that many deadlifts, there's bound to be some no reps, as illustrated by Tudor's video. So, like, and their their argument was, you know, we're trusting the judges at the affiliate, but then why didn't you trust Tudor's judge if Tudor's judge said they were good reps, but on the video you said they were bad reps? Like right. it's, it's contradictory. Yeah. And yep. it's like penalizing people for trying to do the right thing, which is what this guy did from the team of submitting his video because he said he didn't do it in an affiliate. Right. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's hard. Well, ho- hopefully next year, maybe CrossFit will get it right. I think in the, in the next couple of years, they're going to have to have like some sort of AI solution where everyone has to submit a video and AI is going to review your video and count your reps and <laughs> do all the penalties and no big deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, or it could be that like, you know, like team has their own games and yeah, it just gets axed from the games as well. It's only mm-hmm. individual. Minimal. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, it's, it's already at that level now because I guess the, 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 uh, the team competition is only two days for the champ for the championship. So but- yeah, so, for semifinals. Friday and Saturday. No, and I think it's for it's for finals too, I believe. For the games? Yes. Really? I think it's we, I mean, did I get I, it right? Hold on. I think I, it's I, only for semis. Oh, uh, okay. I think I got it wrong. I, I think it, it was on the invite for semifinals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think so. My apologies. <laughs> oh, semifinals. That's right. Sorry, I was looking at Barbell Spin. So, and it said no. semifinals. Never mind. JK. 